Have you ever wanted to tune engines like in real life on a set of Corsa? Well, this app is all you need, especially for car guys, mechanics, and tuners. This is ECU Tuner App by Jan Mack, aka Mattel 855, and is the safest way to tune an engine without breaking a real one. It's basically a piggyback ECU, which you can use to modify the behavior of the engine. You can shift the rev limiter, change the fuel cuts, change the injectors, change the wastegate springs, change the boost threshold even, adjust the timings, and adjust the fuel mixture. Therefore, all this is affecting the engine power output. Also, you can read the ECU simple error codes from the logger, which first blinks for the first number, then blinks for the second number. And you can double check with the guide error sheet that uh, Mattel has implemented on what exactly is the problem and of course adjust your tunings on the car accordingly. The free version comes with four cars modified specifically for the app. First one is Ferrari F40. The second car is Nissan Skyline GTR R34 V-Spec. The third car is Toyota Supra MK4. And the final car for now is Audi Sport Quattro. Of course, there will be way more cars implemented in the future, fellas. The guy is still developing and designing the program. A lot more stuff. Now, as we have the free version covered, I want to jump now into the pro version. So, the pro version comes with tons of new goodies, fellas. We're starting with animated banner for the app, which is really cool, I love it. Four new cars modified for the Pro ECU tuner comes with extra sounds for the cars, a new ECU error code logger, which also blinks on the dashboards in the cars. It also comes with new exhaust flames and smoke based on the tuning. It comes with anti-lag and anti-lag control system. It comes with lunch control, and coolant system and two electric fans that you can control and adjust, of course, depending on the temperature. Okay, now let's jump into how to get the app and how to install before we hop into some gameplay. Okay, fellas, before we continue with the installation, I want you to go to this website, WinRAR. All links will be down in the description for the ECU Tuner free version and the Pro version plus the WinRAR. Everything you need will be down. Make sure to check it out. Once you're here, you want to go to download WinRAR and then click download again. Now it will open to save. As you see, I have it. Then I'm going to open it and I'm going to run this executionable. It's going to ask me to allow. Then you install it and click OK. Now, once you have WinRAR out of the way, let me show you how to make a free account in Ray's department because a lot of you don't know. So I'm going to open incognito tab because I'm logged out there. I'm going to click on register and you want to scroll down till you hit the bottom. Once we're in the bottom, join basic account here. You click here and here you fill all your details and then click register. That's how you make a free account. Okay, once this is out of the way, fellas, you want to click download from here and download the ECU tuner. Once you've downloaded the ECU tuner, you want to click this link right here for the cars and it will send you to Google Drive. Now I'm going to wait a bit. You want to select this cars folder, then right click it and click download. It's going to start zipping and uh, making an archive of this cars folder. All right, fellas, once everything is downloaded, they have the issue tuner and the cars folder right here. You want to open your Steam. If you don't know where your Cero Corsa folder is, select the Cero Corsa, right click properties. Then you want to go to local files and you want to click browse. There you go. Now we're in the Cero Corsa folder. The easiest way to install this is th this is why I required you to get WinRAR because it's very easy to open the archive. We're going to go to apps from Steam, Steam apps, common Acero Corsa applications. We go to Python because this is a Python app. Then we're going to grab this folder, fellas, and we're going to place it in the empty space. Make sure it's the, your mouse is not covering any of these folders. I'm going to place it right here. There we go. Very easy and very simple. We're going to open Content Manager. I'm going to wait a bit, just a second. Then you go to Settings, you go to a set of Corsa apps, and you want to make sure ECU Tuner, fellas, is ticked. That means this application is enabled. Once this is out of the way, fellas, we want to open the Cars Archive. And what we want to do is we open the Cars. 
you see we have a four cars archives here. We're going to go back to a set of course root folder. Then we go to content. We go to cars. Once we're here, what we want to do is we want to grab all these four archives because it will be very easy to extract them directly once we've placed them in this folder. There we go. Now they are in the folder, right? So you want to select them again, right click and extract here all these four cars. And this is basically how you manually install car and track modes. So now we want to double check if everything is installed correctly. Want to open our cars, want to type ECU, and there we go. We have the four cars that come with the free version. We have the Audi Sport Quattro, the Ferrari F40, we have the Skyline, and we have the Supra. Okay, fellas, now with the free version out of the way, we want to go and learn how to get the pro version. So you go to this same link of race department, and you want to click on this blue Patreon button. It's going to send us to Mattel 855's Patreon, and to get the pro version of the issue tuner, and as well the pro version cars, you have to become a patron to Mattel 855. And also, he mentions here that if he gets the... 10 patrons in this tier for the $10 a month. He will also start to develop the standalone issue. And oh boy, fellas, if you think this issue is complicated, wait to see a standalone. The people that know the difference between standalone issue and uh, piggyback issue will know that how complicated it is. All right, fellas, before we jump into the two live races, I want to quickly mention that I don't know crap about tuning and you know I'm an honest person. I don't want to spread misinformation or mislead you. So for that purpose, I will link three videos down in the description of the video that you can watch to understand the basics of how an engine works and how to tune ignition timings, fuel mappings and so on. At least you understand everything on a basic level so you can start progressing and building up your information slowly but surely and of course get better with tuning something also very important fellas when you go to my discord server you have to of course uh react to this bot so that you prove that you are a real human you can pick a role here are the notifiers then i've created a completely new channel i called it uh tuners paradise and this is the developer of the app right here so if you have any questions this is the channel where you can ask, leave feedback for Drew, you can literally tag him up. He said that do not be hesitant to ask him anything. Uh, he will be gladly um, happy to answer you. Also, here we'll be discussing tunes, sharing knowledge and stuff like that. So feel free to jump in our Discord. Links to the videos are down in the description. And the guy's channel is called Engineering Cars Universe. Thank you very much, Mattel, for suggesting this uh, channel. I don't have any problem with mentioning it. So fellas, if you want to learn how to tune or get better, watch these three videos. Now, back onto the race, fellas. I'm going to do two races. First will be stock Ferrari F40 versus stock Ferrari F40, where usually the bot always destroys me. I don't know why. Maybe crazy shifting. Maybe I'm garbage. I don't know, fellas. Then I'm going to tune the Ferrari with the crappy knowledge I have. And uh, we're going to try to smoke him. All right, fellas, I think I'm ready. So let's see if we can smoke the bot. I can't see him. Are we beating the bot or the bot is beating us? I can't see crap where he is. So I guess we were kind of equal and I beat the bot. Let's see if at least we can beat our time. So I'm going to do some uh, tuning. Then we're going to restart the session. I'm gonna, Of course, I'm using the, the free version for uh, showcase purposes, fellas. So we're going to use stock injectors because if you want to use these 650 cubic ones, you have to definitely have a lot of tuning already done. I'm going to use 15 PSI. I'm going to jump the manual boost to like step three. 
then uh, you can see here manual boost controller three that means it's step three I'm, I'm just gonna put some timing you know i'm gonna speed this up fella so you don't have to wait for all the tuning All right, fellas, I think I'm pretty much done. I don't want to really go into the AFR mapping, so we're just going to use some ignition timing, and that's that. So basically, till the vacuum, we're jumping on, like, 12 values. Here, why I don't uh, put anything from 0 to, like, 2,000, you will already be, like, third gear here, about third gear, fourth gear. Your rev limiter should be, like, RPM, like, 3,000 plus. So, like, why, why putting any values here? There's no point, you know? So, let's go ahead and test this out. All right. All right, fellas, gonna move the ignition map a bit so we can see uh, the lights. Um, woo, boy, I'm sliding. <laughs> We're flying, oh my god. We're absolutely flying, fellas. Did you saw that start? The car actually started sliding left and right. I had to held it. Holy cow. Oh man, like, I can only imagine how much you can tune these cars if you go into boost map, IFR tuning, switch to like 650 uh, injectors. That would be crazy. B16. Oh, can we stop? No. Oh. So that's that for the video, fellas. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check this app out. It's This is the free version. Get your friends. See who can tune better. Send it on the Norse Live or on the drag strip. Whatever you like. And uh, that's going to do it. I want to thank very much my supporters. TK was the last booster. Thank you very much, bro. And of course, uh, Bills, XD, and TK are my top supporters. Thanks a lot for everyone that supports me now fellas please let me know in the comments down below what's your feedback about this like the video share it subscribe so we can beat the haters and for now fellas wish you all the best i will see you in the next video